Greetings to you this day. This is Michelle Strickland, and I'm coming to you today with Kicking It on the Chase with Shelly. It's a segment that I do normally on a Saturday, but I'm subject to do it anytime. And eventually, I'm going to do it in different parts of the world once I start traveling again. But for now, I'm doing it right here out of my house. But um, we're going to talk about communication goals for singles. I've been pretty much talking about topics for singles, but I can, I, you know, I'm subject to change that I'm... I'm liable to change the subject anytime I, you know, I feel led to do it. But I've been just pretty much on Saturdays dealing with singles, okay, giving us ideas and suggestions. And even married people or people in committed relationships can get something out of it. So uh, I'm going to talk about communication goals for singles. For a minute, discussions for dating singles on how to set communication goals. I'm going to give you some examples how to set specific communication goals together with the, uh, you know, and just kind of discuss the topics and express some emotions, you know, openly about this, you know, topic, okay? Setting communication goals is crucial for building a strong and a healthy relationship. I'm going to give you four discussions tailored to dating singles um, on how to set communication goals, okay? Understanding each other's needs. You know, you might want to uh, discuss what's, a, you know, effective communication means to each other. You know, and you can share some examples of, you know, of some times when you felt communication was lacking or when it was effective. I, and then identify some common communication patterns and areas that, that need to be improved. I noticed that a lot now in the 21st century, dating is miserable. You know, and it's online, a lot of dating online, you got a lot of frauds and, and you know, people, look, I think they call it fish, you know, skin the scammers, dating scammers. It's so much easier for people to, to do these romance scams and stuff like that. People don't want to identify themselves or show you who they are via FaceTime or you know, there's there's several different apps that you can use for for video chat. And people, when they don't want to do that, people, when people don't want to show you who they are, then don't trust them. There's something going on. If they can't show you who they are, then there's something up with that. Okay. If you can't if you can't communicate with somebody and, and see who you're talking to, then they're hiding something. They're hiding something. Dating in the 21st century is miserable. It's miserable. So that's why I'm just, I just try to be content with myself. And I'm just, you know, not worrying about it as much. But, but I'm open. But we got to be real cautious because it's dangerous now. Too many dating scammers out there. You need to set specific goals when you're, when you're uh, getting to know somebody, you know. You brainstorm specific communication goals together when you meet somebody. Focus on areas that you can improve on, you know, and the, and the areas that need to be enhanced when you're getting to know somebody, okay? Or even when you're in relationships, okay? I'm going to give some examples. Uh, commit to a regular, you know, check-ins to discuss feelings and concerns. That's something that I noticed too. You know, when you, when you try to meet people online with this hot and cold behavior... Don't take people like that serious, ladies and gentlemen. Don't. If they can't have a, if they don't have a regular pattern of communication with you, then they're not serious. So don't take them serious. You know, establish a safe space for expressing uh, vulnerability without judgment, and make an effort to actively listen without interrupting or becoming defensive. You know, people should be able to tell you how they feel about stuff. You know, if you don't agree with it, then that might not be somebody. You can't work through it. You, that might not be somebody you want to get serious about, okay? But you need to talk. Setting aside dedicated time for meaningful conversations about the future goals and aspirations are very important. If people that you're getting to know can't do that, then, then don't take them seriously, you know? And then you might want to consider whether, you, whether or not you want to waste your time even, even on dealing with them, you know? Make, you know, goals smart, you know, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, time-bound, okay? 
Refine your communication goals to ensure that, that they meet a SMART criteria. Those are the, you know, the specific, measurable, achievable, relevant time bound. Okay? Specific. You know, be specific. Clearly define what you want to achieve, you know? That's, it's not hard, you know? If you want to get married to somebody, say you want to get married to somebody. If you just want to date somebody, just say you want to date somebody, you know? Achievable. Ensure goals are realistic and attainable. I mean, that's why you got to talk to to the person, you know, so that you guys are on the right, on the on the same track, you know, because you don't want to waste your time. I know eventually I want to be married, but I'm not going to waste my time on somebody that's that's hot and cold behavior. I'm gonna keep going. I may never get married again. If not, that's okay. That's okay. So learn to love yourself and be able to 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 deal with uh, yourself, you know. And uh, find things to do where you can keep yourself busy, you know. And don't focus on being that you're be that you're alone. But you know, don't settle for less. You know, I know it's difficult out here being si single, but don't settle for somebody that's that's hot and cold. You know, don't settle for a miserable relationship. You know, it's better to, to me. It's better to be alone and you know be content with yourself than be with somebody you're really not happy with. You know, I'm not. You know, if I have to be single for the rest of my life, that's just the way it is, you know. If, if we can't come to an agreement and if the person can't meet me where I'm at, I'm not going to settle for it less. I'm, I'm not. And I encourage you not to. Uh, you know, when you're, you know, ensure your goals are realistic and attainable. And then, you know, you know, the relevant, the, the word, the relevant, the, you know, portion of the smart Align your goals with the needs and values of your relationship. You know, kind of figure out what you each like to do and work around that. You know, you don't always have to do everything together either, you know. But uh, you need to talk about these things, though, to make sure you're compatible with each other. The time-bound part of it. You know, set timelines for accomplishing these goals, you know. If you're with somebody and you're trying to be serious with them, if you... If, if they're not on the same page, you need to establish that ahead of time so you're not wasting your time with some bozo, you know? It's just in it for a short time and not a long time, you know? If that's all you want is a bozo or somebody in it for a short time, that's something different, you know? But if you're wanting something serious, then be clear about it so people can make their decisions right away whether or not to deal with you or not. Don't, I'll, you know, just don't waste your time on these people that, that aren't... They're not serious. That's all I'm saying. Making goals smart. Um, okay. Refine refine your communication goals to ensure they meet smart criteria. I just explained to you. I get, you know, I just some information about it, okay? Uh, be specific. You know, be measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. Create an action plan, you know. Outline specific steps you'll take to achieve each communication goal. You know, just be specific with the person, you know. If they're not, if they can't, if they think that's too much, then hit, tell them to hit the road. You know. I'm not saying jump right off the bat, you know, and just start in the first date or anything like that. But if you decide that you guys like each other and, can, and continue, then you need to start talking about stuff like that instead of wasting time. You don't want to waste your time with somebody that's gonna that's just in it for something to do and they're not serious about you. And you want to be serious. It's a waste of time. You can waste your time by yourself. Assign responsibilities and agree on accountability measures. You know, that's not hard. Well, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, figure out what we're going to do for this date or you know okay then you can figure out what we're going to do for the next day just a little simple stuff that's just an idea schedule reg regular check-ins to review progress and make adjustments as needed if you if you're dealing with somebody and they can't they don't want to you know set up a time okay well let's ta go on a date on, on 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 saturday this week okay okay well then next week let's go on on a sat on a friday or whatever or sunday whatever the day you know just set, set, you know, set up time, regular intervals where you all can get to, to know each other, you know? Exa I'm going to give you an example of an action plan. 
you know, goal setting, improve conflict resolution by actively listening and avoiding defenses. I'm gonna get, I'm a, if I'm talking to somebody, I'm gonna get straight to it, you know? And see where they're at on some stuff, you know? Especially if we get, if we get, you know, if they can't, if, if I ask people certain questions and they can't, they can't answer it, then I, that gives me, puts me like a big question mark. So I'm like, oh yeah, no, this ain't going to be the person. I might go past a, a, a second session, but if this, unless I'm just goofing around just for something to do, I don't take them people seriously. And I let people know I don't take them seriously. You know, the action steps. Practice active listening during disagreements. Use I statements to express feelings and agree to take short breaks if discussions become heated, you know. Don't be afraid to discuss stuff with people you meet. And they need to, you know, don't don't be too easy on people, you know. You know, the thing of it is, is when you're dating for be serious, you don't want people wasting your time, okay? Because some people don't have no, no, they don't, intention of being serious they just want to goof around for something to do until the other one comes okay so you need to you need to eliminate these people as soon as you can and if they're not putting anything into you don't take them serious and don't put your life on hold for somebody that's not that's being hot and cold with you it you know the in and out person you know they here today you don't hear from them for whenever days weeks and then all of a sudden i'm here okay so you're here, and I, I, don't take people like that serious, okay? A timeline. Implement strategies and other, and, you know, you know, and to have conversations around the areas that, that, you know, that you feel are important, you know? Remember, effective communication requires ongoing effort and commitment for both people. By setting and working towards communication goals together, you'll strengthen your connection and foster a deeper understanding about each other. Because you don't want to waste your time. Unless, you, unless, all, that, unless you're just not serious and you just want something to do. You know, that's something different. But if you're serious, establish some, some guidelines. Have a good day.